Here's a video that I thought I made a long time ago, but uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I figured I would make one. And uh, this is a little bit confusing um, where you can drill holes and cut notches in floor joist. And uh, some of these rules apply to roof rafters and ceiling joist also. And I want to say all of them do, but uh, this video is just going to be focusing on floor joist. Um, rarely do you have to notch ceiling joists or roof rafters because you have an attic you can usually run things in but in the floor it's a little different so let's go ahead and take a look at notches you are not absolutely no way I learned this one the hard way allowed to notch any notches in the center this would be on the top or the bottom no notches at all in the center one-third of the span so here we have a 12 foot span and this would be from over over from the outside of the wall to the outside of the wall and um, so this would be in the in the area of the four feet we would have a four foot section here if we divide three into 12 we get four feet four feet four feet and four feet you can drill in the outer third um, outer third here I mean um, notch sorry and then um, but you cannot do it in the center let's go ahead and take a look at the notch now the notch here to find the depth the maximum depth of the notch you would take the out the depth of the joist um, and in this example here it is a 2 by 10 and the measurement is nine and a half inches from top to bottom and if I divide six into 9.5 I would get 1.58 and I'm going to try and put something in here for those of you who uh, have a problem with fractions I'm going to try and make a video and I'll put a link in here where you can click on it if you need a little more help trying to figure out some fractions and decimals um, now so this would be the maximum is going to be one-sixth the width of the joist the distance here is going the maximum distance is going to be one-third the depth of the joist so we would divide 3 into 9.5 and we would get 3.16 so basically a 3 inch wide 3 inches wide on a 2 by 10 would be the maximum um, and one one and a half inches let's say would be the maximum depth so the width basically is 3 inches the depth would that you could notch would be one and a half inches on a two by ten and the same thing applies to the bottom the bottom of the bottom notches can be um, uh, it, this is one-third the distance of the joist or the depth of the joist and um, for the width and um, the height here would be one-sixth the um, one-sixth of the joist itself now here's something that is kind of confusing I'm not really sure I'm going to give you the right uh, advice on this but I think I am um, you can cut a notch on the bottom but uh, I don't think you're allowed to cut a notch on the top and so when, when I say that let's go ahead and zoom back out um, something like this might not be legal when I'm saying that now I'm just I'm just a, I'm just kind of throwing it out there because um, I couldn't find a, I couldn't find some of the information I hate to share something with you that would be incorrect but uh, these notches if you uh, and, and then and then can you put more than one notch in a joist this isn't actually clear either so um, what I'm sharing with you is kind of what I've gathered but uh, I couldn't find enough information on the internet to um, verify this so are you allowed to put a notch on the top and a notch on the bottom I don't think you are I think you're allowed to just do one without doing the other per joist and I'm just kind of throwing that out there now when it comes to drilling holes the holes cannot be closer than two inches from the edge 
of the top or the bottom. So you cannot have the hole within the two inch span here. The maximum um, diameter of the hole um, is going to be one third of the depth of the joist. So here we have a nine, a nine and a half inch um, joist depth. So the hole couldn't be lar couldn't be larger than 3.16 inches, and it needs to be within two inches. Um, it cannot be within the two in two inches from the top or the bottom. Now for the big question: How many holes can you drill per joist? Um, this is another question that's not real clear. Um, can you drill five or six holes? Um, I don't know. So. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times. People go in and they drill holes through these joists. Um, uh, so if you're asking me what I've seen in the past, yes, I've seen multiple notches cut, um, not on the bottom, but on the top. I've seen more than two notches cut on a joist, and um, I have seen more than one hole drilled in a joist. Now, when it comes to how many, no, I don't think I've ever seen more than um, three holes drilled in a joist and when I'm saying this um, this would be a larger hole I've seen electricians go through and they drill a three-quarter inch hole um, they'll drill I've seen them drill right next to each other um, and I've seen them drill right in the bottom of this two inches where I told you you're not allowed to drill but I've seen electricians drill multiple holes over ten holes in a short area of the joist. So um, if uh, you're going to go on the knowledge that I'm sharing with you from what I've seen, then that would be that. But um, the, the, the code isn't really clear. And I'm providing you with this information from the International Residential Building Code Book 2012 edition. And this is on page 123. Here's actually something I learned today. Um, I was always, uh, I thought you couldn't notch the bottom of a joist like this. And I actually made a video on it. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to this video in it to clarify things. And um, so you are allowed to cut a notch. It cannot be more than one quarter of the depth of the joist. So for a 2 by 10 it couldn't be more than 2.37 inches, two and a quarter inches. Um, uh, and of course, this is the width of the bearing wall. And, and this is just my, my guess, because I was kind of thinking, well, because they didn't really have anything in, in here. Could you actually have extend the notch farther, um, which wouldn't make any sense with the uh, notching that I just went through um, a few a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago in the other in the first part of the video, so this again would be one quarter the distance of the joist, the depth of the joist here, and it needs to uh, be on the plate. It can't uh, it can't extend past that. Uh, and when I say that, could it extend past a quarter of an inch? Yeah, probably. But try and make them as tight as you can. And I am not a big fan of this, by the way. Keep in mind that it is a well known fact that, uh, and no one's going to argue with me on this. That I shouldn't say that. There will be people that argue, but uh, uh, most engineers are going to agree with this. Any notches, any um, holes that you drill it is going to reduce the strength of the joist and for something like this I'm just not I'm not entirely convinced that you're not reducing the strength of the joist if I cut a two inch hole I mean a two inch notch out of a 2 by 10 I would feel like I'm reducing this down to a 2 by 8 uh, in this case not when we go to the other part I wouldn't think this would be as big of a problem because I've, I've talked to engineers that have allowed me to notch um, a, the exactly what we're saying here out of the joist and it makes more sense for this because it's sitting on top of the wall. Same principle applies here. You can take up to one quarter of the distance um, depth of the joist out without a problem. And a lot of times you'll see something like this where they'll notch it out and they'll have a two by four running across the joist. Um, used to see it a long time ago. Don't see it as, as often. Now let's go back to the fact, uh, can you notch out of the top and the bottom? 
And realistically, that's not crystal clear on this thing either. And I would imagine you could um, on something like this. But again, that would just be my guess. Here's something you might want to consider, and um, it's not, uh, this is another thing that I'm kind of speculating on, but think that uh, it would be, this would be something that could be verified. If you have to notch or drill holes, let's say, in the, in the upper section or the lower section, but I'm just going to go with the upper section here, uh, you could always go with a larger joist if the Joist for the span for the distance requires a 2 by 10 then you could always go with a 2 by 12 and uh, This would allow you to take up to 2 inches out of the joist with while still keeping the 2 by 10 um, Joist a thickness so if, if this would be something obviously you would have to think about um, before you built this and I don't know if this would would apply to the same thing if this notch was down on the bottom but I think on the top you could work you could work with it so if you were going to let's just say that you had to drill a whole bunch of electrical wires in and they needed to be in the top section um, or you needed to notch out a few things then I think something like this would be acceptable um, why, but you'd have to figure it out while you were designing the home. So I just thought I would throw that out there because a lot of times whenever I see a notch like this, I think it's just reducing the strength of the board down to it the next size. So if you have a 2 by 10 and you take a 2 inch notch out of it, you now have a 2 by 8 and that's always been my, my thought on it. So anyway, that's it for this video. Feel free to leave your questions and comments in the comment area and uh, it's off to the next video.